So belong. En route to our cafe rendezvous on University Avenue, debating sushi, fur, or nachos, everything bagels or decadent croissants. Were we famished literary ninjas crammed in a car, or Roman gun ho samurai? Pondering our ink filled avatars, the verbose madam from Phnom Penh who loves to sing Domo Erigato, Mr. Roboto, and every stanza of Bohemian Rhapsody at karaoke reminds me. Sub ID will always be a foreign word. Aloha, America, a VR sing. Baba was a tiger, round beneath the wheels. His fat was burned to light a torch. There's no liberty here. Only the ashes of a village that couldn't evolve, where ghost grandchildren play with ghost grandparents, and the parents are nowhere to be seen at all. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? A delay of a day for an idea. A delay of a lifetime for the dead upon the ground. Look what remains. This hut hasn't the ambition of Ozymandias. These craters were once a rice field. This ox was no man's enemy. And what we have left to say could explode any minute. There are two Hmong who hold records, one for flying under fire, the other for doing nothing with his hair. Half of the time, their names aren't pronounced properly. Among the things they share in common is that both are dead today, making the slow transition from a living room rumor over a cold beer to a tropical legend for scholars at the yawning border of the dream kingdoms. At least one report has suggested the Guinness Book of World Records may shut down shop soon, so someone else will have to remember this if they think it's worth the trouble. I wish I could remember their names, but sometimes I don't even remember who I am anymore. By Sanju, by Styx, or a nascent Dachshund rivulet, I pray to whoever is in charge of such things that after a turbulent lifetime on these teeming banks, crowded as the ashen Ganges, we will recognize each other in deliberate strangers that we were and understand. Two, beneath a cleansing icon of lovely Mae with what passes for a new family, for a new land, she rumbles to an obscure saint of speculation. Maybe you were all petty demons in a past life I swept away without a strain, a thought, filthy, Nameable, mere, finite among the infinite, one fine winter in the tropics before a knock prince was reborn as a Buddha. Prince. The drowning god keeps busy. He has an ocean of second-hand memories no one gets to see. His fluid voice smothering. He pretends he can never hear you amid the world's many tears. It is not hip hop, despite some hopes. It is not slam. It is not even an anti form. It is not the form of all Europeans over resurrected bazaar. The office words, I must inform you, will not even resemble or recall the old Tizia or Kadal or the much to our parents' regrets who pray among rocks and steeples for good grandchildren, lucky numbers, and doctors in the family. If our lovely readers do not feel free, we will be unreadable. If our writing is too predictable, we will die in the ditches unsold. If our words don't speak what's in our souls and stalls, we will forget ourselves, our bodies, our shapes, our language, and the true shape of the Southeast Asian American form of tomorrow will become an exercise 